Many times I'm asked what gluten is and why you need to avoid it. So let's talk about it. The reason it is not good is because of what happened with our food industry and GMOs about 50 years ago. To make a long story short, conventional wheat is good. So a few decades ago, they started hybridizing wheat in order to get more gluten. Companies such as Monsanto, they realized if they do not rotate the crops and keep hybridizing it, the crops gluten content will grow exponentially so they could feed more people and sell more and make more money. But during this hybridization process of wheat, it also created new strains of gluten. So this new strain of gluten, this long chain of new strain of gluten goes into our body. When it goes into our body, it goes to our stomach. Stomach's job is to break down this long chain when you eat it. And the stomach cannot break it. So this strings of protein goes down to your small intestine. Your small intestine's job is to digest the broken down food from the stomach. So your small intestine does not and is not able to do it because the villi of the small intestine, they're supposed to break it down and put it in your bloodstream. When villi grab this digested amino acid, there is no problem. But when the villi, they try to get the gluten protein that is not, un, that is not digested, there is a big problem. Because the body looks at it as a new strain and as foreign. Because it is foreign. It is modified. Hi, my name is Rose Hunnicky and I came to Dr. Ma's because I was exhausted, tired. I couldn't wake up in the morning. I was exhausted all the time, day and night. Um, miserable, basically. Um, every part of my body ached. I feel a lot better. I'm happy. Uh, I don't drink coffee to keep awake. I'm consistently up during the day and I sleep very good at night. Um, and I want to thank you, Dr. Maz. <laughs> Folks, I have said it multiple times on previous videos. I will say it again. You need to start reading labels. Synthetic is not good. Refined is not good. It means it does not have any nutritional value or any nu nutrition that it had. It's gone. Refined sugar and grains cause cavities, cause osteoporosis and fatty liver. You may ask then why they produce it, why they want to sell it. It is because bad food is cheap to make. True organic food is good. And I will explain what is true organic food. For food to be organic, it needs proper minerals. And minerals are only found in soil. Animals cannot make minerals, plants cannot make minerals, cow's body cannot make minerals. You need to understand, usually when organic food is imported, it is not true organic. USDA does not inspect imported organic food. They hire other private companies and inspectors to do so. Therefore, there are many companies that grow organic vegetables outside of the U.S. to be able to market and sell organic in the U.S. because they do not require the strict rules in the U.S. to grow organic. If processed here, they have to go through a series of testing by the government, by the agencies, to be able to put organic label and call it organic. And that is why it's more, or, more expensive to grow and market for them. You all heard of Whole Foods, California, California, blend vegetables, frozen package. It came from China. Sometimes the food industry, they do crazy things in the US. Even animals that we eat are calcium deficient. And as a result, we have calcium deficiency in our body. You see, we need calcium as humans. 
Cow's body also needs calcium. Cow's body cannot make calcium just like humans. Where does the, calcium, where does the cow get calcium? From the grass has calcium in their soil. If the soil does not have calcium, then the cow's body will not get calcium, and cow's body becomes calcium and mineral deficient. And humans become mineral and calcium deficient because they eat cow meat. So that is why you should pay more attention and buy grass-fed New Zealand meat. When animals are raised on grass, they produce meat and eggs with a much higher concentration of omega-3 than animals who are confined in a cell. Grass-fed meat has two to four times more omega-3 than grain-fed meat. It has also higher concentration of vitamin A and vitamin E and antioxidants and uh, linoleic acid, which is cancer-fighting uh, and uh, it has cancer-fighting properties as well. This is the difference between New Zealand meat versus the grain-fed cow meat. Regarding vegetables and fruits, minerals are very, very, very important. For proper agriculture and growing fruits and vegetables, the soil has to have nitrogen, magnesium, calcium, and potassium. It should have minerals as well. Well, nowadays, many minerals are missing because they use the same soil over and over and over. When they use the same soil over and over, the soil becomes mineral deficient. Therefore, the crops growing in those soils become mineral deficient and they lose their defense mechanism to fight the disease. When this happens, the fruits and vegetables, they get pesticides and fungus. So the owners have to call companies to put pesticides and fungicides to kill this bacteria, to kill these toxins. Meanwhile, they are worse. So these companies have a way to make money. When they apply these pesticides and fungicides, food becomes more toxic. They say, don't let the liquid touch your skin. Don't let the liquid close to your face, but you put the pesticides and fungicides inside your body by eating the fruit and vegetables from these non-organic soils. So refer to our other videos and get educated and not necessarily medicated. As a patient of our office, we provide you with comprehensive panel of testing and complete dietary regimen that has been successful in helping patients with chronic conditions. The next topic we're going to talk about is hypoglycemia and sugar fluctuations.